Dude, this game is wild. Stellar Blade is coming out swinging. We've got fist clenching combat filled with combos, special abilities, perfectly timed parries and dodges, and of course, massive boss battles. Listen, there's been plenty of ARPGs as of late, but Stellar Blade is taking all the best parts of combat from other ARPGs and smashing it into one wild combat system, and I'm here for it. Whether you're an avid hard mode junkie or just a casual, Stellar Blade is a place for all ARPG fans, with two difficulty levels, normal, which is actually challenging, and story mode, plus some forgiving mechanics for making oopsies. I'm talking about falling to your death in Souls games, of course. The only thing that might make you rage quit is a tough battle, which in that case, get good, or turn down the difficulty. I'm just kidding. But for real, this game's combat is top notch, and almost slightly overwhelming at first, at least in the demo. But fear not, because there's a talent tree which gives me hope that there will be starting at a baseline. In the demo, however, you have almost all the combos unlocked at the start, minus a few. And they're all pretty unique in terms of damage and animation, which is one of the things the game does very well, animation. One major shining point to the combat is the Retribution Strike, which can be compared to finishing moves similar to WB Studio games such as the Batman series and Middle Earth. Except in Stellar Blade, each individual enemy has a stagger point, and when you deplete them with perfect parries, you can trigger some seriously cinematic finishing moves. And the best part about these stagger points is that they're on bosses too. The only difference is it doesn't finish them instantly, but man does it do some serious damage and looks even more badass than the normal finishers. <laughs> But let me back up here a little bit, kinda came in heavy with all the combat. So let's talk about what this game is even about. This is a Sony exclusive coming out April 26th at a AAA price of 70 bucks. If you don't know, you play as main character Eve, a super soldier from what we can tell, based in a distant future where alien creatures have successfully drove humans into space and off of Earth. Your job is to purge alien life from Earth and reclaim it for humanity. Pretty cool story, and some wicked enemy design too. Speaking of design, this brings me to level design. It's definitely a linear game, sprinkling in some of the off-beaten path moments, kind of like Dark Souls, but feels a little more lackluster. I fear everything in terms of secrets may be more obvious than I hope. I enjoy my secrets to be a little bit more difficult to discover, so I'm hoping we get pleasantly surprised in the full release. But nothing blew my mind in terms of exploration in the demo. The graphics and detail to the levels are amazing though. Even while being linear, there's a lot of depth and detail to make the world feel even bigger, though you seem to be on a straight path. Comparing back to Dark Souls again, they had a few elements that we can see some inspiration from while navigating your way through the game. We experienced quite a few jump scare enemies, as well as unlocking shortcuts. And then we have the rest stations and supply camps. These serve as rest points to refill your health and healing items, and also reset enemies similar to Dark Souls Bonfire as well. You can upgrade and spend your SP points to learn new skills at these spots as well. And there are surprisingly a ton of skills to pick up. From obvious ones such as new combos, but also upgrading your perfect parries, dodges, and learning new momentum abilities like double jump and blink. The third tree we get access to is the beta abilities. These are the special attacks that can be used to fill your beta bar to do some serious damage, and it's a nice fill-in for the combat. With all three combined, combos, perfect parries, dodges, and beta abilities, it makes for some stellar combat. I see what you did there. I think it'll take a good amount of time before this game's combat feels repetitive, just based on the amount of creative combinations you can put together. So it'll be interesting to see what else is in store for us to learn and master. I'm thinking one will definitely be a ranged skill section, because that's something they showcase in the trailers. But beyond that, your guess is as good as mine. Possibly another survival type skill tree that has to do with item use, crafting, and fishing? In the bag section of your menu, we'll get crafting as well as a whole category labeled fish. That's good, right? As far as the usable items go, they're actually pretty cool with a ton of grenade and combat uses, as well as zone boosts like healing fields. So I could see some upgrades going to those as well. All in all, a great demo that definitely sold me. I highly recommend giving this a download before it releases on the 26th, especially if you like some action RPGs. I promise this combat will not disappoint. Plus, once you beat the demo, you unlock the boss fight mode, which unlocks even more abilities to test out and have fun with. So go slap some aliens, dudes. And as always, happy gaming, and I'll see you guys in the next one.